Well, good whatever time it is of day to you, YouTube. Hi, how's it going? Ha <laughs> ha! Hey. Hi there. Guess where I'm from? Not around here. Oh man, this is like the first like vlog I've done since I've been back home uh, from everything. I went to Chicago, then I, let's see, no, I did a lot of shit. I went to Chicago, then I went to Texas, and then I'm going back to Chicago again here uh, uh, Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday. On the 18th, I'll be back on the 21st back in the Brunswick, St. Simons area. I've been traveling a lot, man. It's kind of stupid how much I've been traveling, actually. But technically, I guess I work for this gun company now. I mean, I know you guys know that I've been doing the gun videos for a while, and they've been, uh... Um, they've been letting me do videos with them and stuff like that and they've been giving me guns to do videos with and all this that and the other but I'm not, I'm not really officially working for them I don't sound like a W2 or nothing like that they don't they don't even really pay me I guess is the best way to describe it I don't know that's not what I want to talk to you guys about on this video I mean it's got stuff to do with it but we'll get really into it here in a second it smells like someone's grinding as you guys can probably tell by the title of the video praise for Paris um, prayers, praise, prayers for Paris, uh, Paris, blah, blah, blah. The only reason I'm making this video is right now I want, I want to let people know that I do support Paris because apparently there's questioning, people have been questioning whether or not that I am like supportive of the individuals affected in France. I feel like I said that right, France. Pe people in France have been, you know, devastated. And people are wondering because, I guess because I like guns, if I, um, if I like, support the individuals in Paris and I'm like are you serious you guys are wondering if I support people who were terrorized like really I'm one of the most patriotic people on YouTube I'd like to believe you know I've got nothing but support for military and, and, and this and the other and I guess because people think because it's another country like because France is not America is that I don't give a shit about it apparently that's what people think and that's not the truth at all man I want to make that very clear I've, I've seen some comments on like my gun videos saying that like you know Dan is this really appropriate I'm like first of all you have to remember I'm I am in a completely different country and I'm doing my own thing over here you know making videos and shit like that so that's got nothing to do with what's going on in your country uh, second of all France was one of the most supporting nations after our 9-11 terrorist attacks back in 2001 so uh, where the fuck do people think that I don't support France but I want to make this very clear right now I'm not going to use my love for firearms influence how I feel about a different nation being terrorized. And a lot of people asking me about the whole, uh, the attacks on Lebanon and other countries and stuff like that. And like, I can't talk about something that I'm unaware of. You know, this whole thing in France is a big deal and in Paris because it's public media, which is, it's all in public media. You know, the whole, uh, the whole Lebanon thing and uh, ISIS and shit like that. Like, I'm not a political scientist or whatever, you know? I just like to go fast on a sport bike. But I can't I can't talk about something that I'm super uneducated on, so I wasn't aware. I didn't know about it, so I can't comment on it. But I think the reason why people care so much about France is because it's like, you know, it's one of the most uh, wealthiest countries in the world, and I hate to say it. Like, that's what's driving people to give a fuck about. But, man... Uh, people only give a shit about where the wealth is coming from and people are only going to report on shit that's going to make money. I, I hate to be rude like that, but that's how, it, that's how it works. doesn't mean that's how I believe in it. I'm just saying that's how, uh, that's how culture has worked for the longest time. Don't, don't blame me because I'm uneducated. I mean, yeah, I should be looking forward to it, but it's not like I'm... Oh, it's not like I'm fucking everyone else. You know, if someone else gets attacked, you know, obviously that's a horrible thing. And that's what I'm trying to say, man. It's a horrible thing when anybody gets attacked, not just America, not just France. So don't let me fool you on that. Don't let me, don't let my personality speak for myself, I guess. I don't know what the fuck I'm trying to say, but France, goddammit, you have my support. Although I'm not changing my Facebook profile picture because I kind of feel like that's, um, it doesn't do anything. I personally believe, and, and man, people... And there's this one guy who commented, and I put him on Instagram. I wasn't trying to blast him or anything like that. I was just using him as an example. But he said, you know, he's like, nice guns. Don't use them irresponsibly. Praise for Paris. 
prayers for Paris or whatever. And I, I took it as insulting, you know, like here I am. I feel like I'm, I may not be the most safe and responsible motorcycle rider, but I'll be goddamned if someone tells me that I'm being irresponsible with a firearm. That is not how I work. I'm, I'm one of the most responsible people with a firearm in my hand. The explosions might seem unsafe to you guys and stuff like that, but trust me, there, there's a lot more work going into it than me just going, hey, let's blow some shit up. Just don't, don't for one second think that I'm uneducated and I'm gonna use my firearms unsafely. Um, and you know, I bet a, I bet a lot of people thought that I might be the type of person to say, hey, you know what, France has strict gun control and they still got attacked. If they had guns, they'd have been fine. And that's not who I am. I'm not gonna use someone else's crisis to prove my point at an inappropriate time. Like I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use something like this to, to like try to sell guns and try to like say that I'm right because that's that's super inappropriate, you know. Like anybody who's pro-gun or uh, anti-gun and wants to use this crisis as an example, like like dude, that's fucking disgusting, man. Don't be one of those people, you know. It doesn't matter what I believe in. Like it doesn't matter if I do think that if France had been more well armed, that casualties might have been less. I don't I don't necessarily believe that. But I'm not going to use the crisis to, to try to prove my point right now. I'm just, I feel like that'd be kind of like a disgusting thing to do. And that's, that's not who I am as a person. Don't get me wrong. I'll use this shit in the, in the, in the future when like shit calms down a little bit. And I get into a heated debate with someone on Facebook about why guns are good. I'll fucking throw this shit in their face. I'm like, listen here, motherfucker. This is why guns are good. But right now it's totally disrespectful. Like that, that cannot be your first response, man. Your first response to a crisis should not be, oh, how can I turn this to make guns more popular or less popular, you know? Your first thought should be like, how the fuck can I help? And I'm really sorry to see that some of our leaders are doing that and some of our potential leaders are doing that. That kind of makes me, uh, kind of makes me sick to my stomach that the first thing people do is turn a crisis. And you know what? Both sides are at fault. Like I know Donald Trump said some shit and I know Hillary said some shit and I'm just, I'm just not cool with any of it. But here's, here's what I'm going to say, dude. And this is, this is, this is me just being me. You catch any of those terrorist fucks on my soil. They will be dispatched indiscriminately with a smile on my fucking face. You can, you can goddamn believe that, man. You know, man, it, when 9-11 happened, we were all Americans. That, that's the famous phrase going around right now. When 9-11 happened, we were all Americans. I mean, you know what, goddammit? Right now, we're all fucking French. We're all fucking Americans. We need to realize, dude, we got a, we got a common enemy. We need to fucking put them out, dude. I'm not dealing with this shit. But I was telling my friend the other day, I was like, you know what? This might not be a whole bad thing. He's like, what the fuck are you talking about? How is this not a bad thing? I said, well, you know, this just this just means I might get a chance to use my, uh, my fucking 308 sniper edition a little bit more this year than I had planned. Talk about exploding targets, dude. I will shoot the fuck out of some terrorists. I drink and smoke my weed, but my good friends is all I need. Pass out at three, hang out at ten, go out to eat, take my fucking helmet off. Oh yeah, a lot of you guys are asking me about the white, um, the white thingy thing in the front. I just changed that out to meet up to the Texas. I didn't want to, to go up to Texas and be racing and having fun and all that other good stuff with like fucked up plastics. Ugh. I did that down to, uh, Florida for Biketoberfest and it was a real issue. So, alright, so, um, I'm starting up a, uh, bike nights for meet and eats for uh, bikers in our local area not a not a club not a gang or anything like that but wow i'll have you know it's the second fastest vespa ever made ah. Ah. <laughs> dude that noise is from uh it's from fucking h3 h3 if you guys have ever watched his videos he's got like funny as fuck reaction videos where he just like talks shit about people these videos are hilarious jake and i haven't watched them a lot lately Fuck it, I'll do a shameless plug right now. Just go to uh, go to the video that I've linked in the description and uh, comment, do it with Dan. And uh, fucking spam his shit, dude. He, ha he deserves way more subscribers than he has. I think he only has like 350,000 when I'm making this video. Fucking A, dude. He is funny as f he's funny as shit. I've been meaning to do a little shout out for this guy. Not motorcycle related, he's just funny. But yeah, I'm supposed to be, I'm trying to set up some, some meet up, meetups here for a local bike night once a month where we meet up and uh, just like hang out and ride and, and eat. Not a gang, not a club, just a group of bikers, man. And uh, there's a couple of restaurants that I want to I wanna talk to see if they'll give us like a big group discount because it'll be in like the middle of the week. It'll be like Monday. I now realize that Monday is not in the middle of the week. You know what? Fuck you guys. Monday is whatever day I want it to be. 
That's an old police interceptor. Oh, you only buy that because you want to look like a cop. You want to look like a cop. That's the only reason you buy a police interceptor is because you want to look like a cop. You want to look like a cop. You want to be 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 a fucking cop. I bet you even have the light bar on it, you piece of shit. I don't know what I'm saying that. They're probably nice people. So basically, these meets are going to be once a month. They're going to be like, uh, we'll, we'll meet up at a local uh, automotive store, the Tom Bargeron here in Brunswick, and then we'll ride to go eat somewhere. And... Uh, We'll just eat down and hang out, talk shit. You know, I don't expect a whole lot of people to come at first, or maybe even at all. But it'd, like, it'd be cool to the point where we get like 40, 50 people going. I'm, I'm assuming there'll only be like 10 or 15 people in the first time, but you know, we'll tip well. The tip, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, another question you guys have been asking is where's my intro? I've just kind of held off on the intro for a little while. I don't want to, I don't know, man. I feel like I need to redo it, but for, for the meantime, I don't want an intro, I guess. That looks like Laura's, Laura's old forerunner right there. It even has the fresh plates on it too, man. Let's let's go talk to these peeps real quick. See what they have to say about doing a group discount. <gasps> yeah. Like nights. I'll do a couple businesses while I'm out. All right, man. Buffalo Wild Wings is on point, you guys. Buffalo Wild Wings down to cater to us. Let's see about uh, one more uh, one more restaurant. This uh, this Highway 55's got some good place, but yeah, they were totally supportive. The uh, the general manager there, she was uh, she rides too, and so does her boyfriend. They said, yeah, fuck yeah, come on. Well, they didn't say fuck yeah, but they said, yes, please, come on, we'd love that. As long as I give them a uh, a notice ahead of time, that'd be awesome. Now, I know this place caters to car shows and stuff, so I'm gonna talk to these guys and see what they have to say. All right, man, Highway 55 is down for two. So that's two places. I think that's enough to base at least two meets on. And in advanced, I can always change that because we are about a month out from the first meet. I believe the first meet's going to take place on December 1st. And it will be at Buffalo Wild Wings just because. If you guys want to hop in, if you guys are in the local area, the Kings Lynn, Brunswick, St. Simons, whatever area, you guys can come if you're close. So yeah, basically once a month we'll be meeting up. See, this guy's all right here. You right, man? Everything good? Okay, cool. Just making sure you're right. You always, you always got to pull over and check another biker out, man. Don't matter if they're riding a cross rocket or a Harley. So yeah, once a month we're gonna be meeting together for uh, group rides up to eat food and hang out. Nothing serious, nothing hooliganish. Probably not at first anyway. But you know how group rides go, man. It starts with one guy doing a wheelie and then next thing you know, fucking military are showing up with rocket launchers. God, I hate when that happens. Follow my Instagram if you guys wanna show up to the meet and eats and, and uh, I'll be posting about it once or twice a month to guys let you know where it's gonna be at. So make sure you follow me on Instagram or Facebook so you guys can get the updates. All that shit's in the description, so. Ow, that bump hurt my dick. I, st I still got so many photos and videos from the Texas meetup that I have to post, but uh, I saw a couple people say that they wanted a regular vlog in the meantime while I was editing that, so I figured I wouldn't be selfish and, you know, just be like, no, you can only watch stuff from Texas until I get done. I got a couple more videos I want to make that I'm, out of respect, I'm not going to make them today. I was going to make a video today called Why Guns Are Good, but I feel like with recent shit that's going on with Paris, I, I'm just not going to make it right now. People say that shit like that can't happen to, to countries, you know? People say like, well, they're like, oh man, ISIS isn't a threat. There's no big deal. And then, you know, shit like that happens and people wonder why I own firearms. And I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings right now. I know it's inappropriate, but it's just... I, I think people are just so blind sometimes. I'm not saying that if people in Paris had more guns, like I'm not, I'm not saying if people in France had more guns, they would have been all right. I'm just saying that like, wake up, dude, it happens. People attack people. Obama himself, that he was like, he was like attacks of violence like this don't happen in other first world countries. Are you fucking kidding? Okay, whatever you say, buddy. What the fuck is this thing? I need to see it. I need that. I need one of those. Whatever that is, I need it. What is that, dude? That looks like one of those old uh, fucking hell yeah cars. I need that. I want. I want to know what that is. I think we're gonna get stopped at this light so I can ask him what it is. Please let me get stopped by this light. I want to know what it is. Damn it, we're not getting stopped. I always catch this light. The one time I want to ask what the fuck that thing is, it looks like an old Datsun. What the? Oh, dude, no, that's an old MGB. Someone from the internet, tell me what that is. Oh, I know what I needed to get. Those. 
fucking popsicles, dude. I forgot all about those. I need to go get some popsicles, too. Oh, oh. There's a dude on a bike. I didn't see this guy. Oh, it's Buddy from the trip. Yeah, what's up, dude? We, uh, we went down to um, Daytona together. I don't know where the fuck he came from. That sounds pretty good. I love CBR 600s. I'm just gonna hang back. It's blowing as fuck. Hello, officer, that I just totally fucking was like, God damn it. I see, I told you. I knew it, man. Cops are always all over the place here. I'm just trying to hit my turn good. Yeah, I got my tires a little warmed up. Here we go. I could hit that harder too. That's what's sad. But you never know. Nice cowboy hat. Was that a cowboy hard hat? Oh my god, that was a cowboy hard hat. I need one of those in my life. He's got a Warp Tour sticker. I went to Warp Tour one year. Up in ATL, it was fucking awesome. I met Yellow Wolf, he was late. I talked to him for a little bit and I didn't understand a fucking word he said. He seriously was like, he was talking and he was saying words and I didn't understand a single fucking word that he said. It was like he was really trying to communicate with me and I have no idea. We were both really high by the way. We just ended up hanging out because he showed up too late to, to do his, his fucking books. So, uh, I just hung out and smoked weed with Yellow Wolf for a little bit. I was heading home, but you told me to go this way, so I'm heading wherever you are. Okay, well, I'll break off up here. I'm going to work. Okay, that's stupid. Yeah. Alright, later, man. I'm going to cut through here. Bye. <sighs> I guess I'm going to pull over in here and answer my phone. Why's my phone not connecting? I just didn't know. Yeah, I talked to the guy. He seemed really busy. Shops are so bad. He gave me the address. Like, we have a good day, buddy. Yeah, doing good, man. Just riding around. I was like, I was trying to answer your call, but my phone wasn't connected to my helmet, so it didn't, it didn't work. All right, deuces, man. But buddy Andrew called me with the GTR. He wanted to know about a gun. Go figure, man. I've been talking about guns today, kind of rambling on. Man, fuck terrorists. I want to I wanna make something clear real quick now that I'm thinking about it. I am not a soldier. I am not military. I've never been in the military. The extent of my militaryness, I guess, is the fact that I had a lot of family that served in the military. It was some family. My, yeah, my mom was in the Air Force. So I've had, uh, I've had some family serve. And obviously that's, I don't, but the thing is, like, my, parent never, my parents never really ra uh, raised me to be army strong or whatever you want to call it. Like, my mom's super supportive of the troops, and so is my dad, but they just never were like, son, you must, you must honor the troops. It was just something that I kind of learned over time, I guess. But I want to make it clear that I'm not military. I'm not a soldier. I don't have the training soldiers have. I don't have the knowledge. I don't have the experience. Don't let me ever fool you guys into thinking that I do, or at least don't ever let me sound like it. Uh, that being said, though, I will shoot a terrorist in the fucking mouth and feel nothing. I'm, like I said, I'm not a soldier. I don't have the experience, but I'll be goddamn if I won't defend my right to fucking be an American or be a, be alive. I'm, I've been a strong supporter of the Second Amendment right and all that good stuff. And, you know, that's not what this video is about. This video is about uh, fuck terrorism. That's what this video is about. <laughs> I just had a really weird vision of a bunch of, like, fucking goat fuckers sitting around a computer going, This motherfucker in Georgia, who does he fucking think he is? And I'm sure that's not how all terrorists sound. Um, that's probably racist in some way. And I'm sure someone will be offended by that because uh, this is 2015 where we get offended by everything. So so I'm already prepared for the butthurt flavored comments. I mean, like, dude, if, if, you're not, if you're not aware of what's going on in this world after fucking the things that's going on in France right now, I can't help you, man. If you, if you, think, that, if you think that there's still hope to, like reason with these fucking people or I don't I don't know what your defense is against the against the terroristic group known as ISIS is if you one of them ISIS sympathizers go ahead and unsubscribe and uh, you know shoot yourself in the fucking mouth whatever I don't care if, if you think what happened in France is okay and if you think that terrorism school dude go ahead and shoot yourself in the fucking mouth do me do me that solid real quick
uh, put a shotgun in your mouth and kick the trigger. But my uh, my my thoughts and prayers go out to Paris. I want to let you guys know that Dan is a supporter of uh, of all those people that were affected. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if anybody who watches my videos were directly related, dude. But do me a favor, man. Get out there and shoot some fucking terrorists right in the mouth. I want to put that shit on a t-shirt, man. I will shoot a terrorist in the fucking mouth. I'll shoot a fucking terrorist right in the mouth, dude. Don't give a shit.